Good morning guys, welcome back. I'm Hypnotic and this is my YouTube channel and my tutorial series. This is number four. The very first one we did surviving your first day and night in this amazing game called Vintage Story. Uh, episode two was an early farming episode. Episode three was making charcoal and we made a ton of it. And this episode we're gonna um, work on clay forming and a pit kiln making. I have gathered up everything we need and I'm gonna teach you the very first things you need to make um, for your survival in this game. Let's get started. Here is everything we need. We have uh, all our blue clay. We have four stacks of fire clay. I have um, two stacks of grass, two stacks of sticks, and all the different fuels we can use in the pit kiln. So let's get started with some blue clay. This is the basic blue clay you can find out in the world. I'm going to post a picture of what the blue clay looks like right now out in the world. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this in our active hand and we're just going to crouch and right click and they're going to get this uh, recipe box. So what we're going to do is I'm going to tell you the four things. Actually, it's six things that we need right away when we're in survival mode here in this um, game, in this wonderful game of Vintage Story. A bowl. That's the very first thing we need. Now, you can make four if you'd like. It's just going to take more resources at the beginning. And I am still pretending that we're in survival mode here. So I'm going to make one bowl. And what I'm going to do now is it's just a lot like napping and you are going to left click to remove clay and you're going to right click to add clay and not unlike the napping, you do have to take everything out. So you can use the F menu again. So if you select F, it will show you that you can raise up the voxels a little bit here to make it a little bit faster um, and then go back down if you'd like. So here we are, and now we're going to right click again to add clay. And then that's the bowl. The bowl is super simple. Okay, so we're going to pick that up and just put it down right over there. The second one I would suggest now here again, I am going to crouch and right click with the clay is a crock. This is something you store your food in. So let's go to the F menu. And this is a really valuable, um, you're going to want to make a lot of these later. But like I said, we're going to just make the simplest things to get us into, uh, get us to survive here. I am now right clicking to add clay. Now I've done that layer. Now I can repeat this layer by doing this. It says duplicate layer. So I'm going to click on this after clicking the F and then I'm just going to right click and it will automatically add that clay. It's really nice. Now I can go ahead and do this one as well and then go back here and do that. And now we have one left. There we go. There's our crock. Let's get it out of the way. Um, I'm just picking that up with an empty hand. And then the next thing we're going to need is a cooking pot right there a raw cooking pot you cannot cook in this game any decent meals without this you are again are going to want several of these so here we go first layer i'm just right clicking and one thing you can do is you can either open your you can open your um crafting grid and it, you won't move anymore or you can hold down alt um, and then you won't wiggle like this it will keep you still when you, but I, I actually like the movement of it. So now I just went into um, duplicate layer and I'm right clicking. And then we have to go back to the F menu here. There might be faster ways to do this and you will develop those as you get better at this. Okay, so there's the cooking pot. These all can sit in the same I am, there is a method to my madness. These all can sit in the same block and that's going to mean something later when we go to make, the, when we go to fire these. Okay, the last thing is a crucible right there. This is going to allow us to do some smithing and casting later. So I'm going to pick F, go to the biggest one, try to do this as fast as possible. Click out this clay and back to the one voxel and adding by right clicking and skipping 
Okay, and then going F to the duplicate layer. And then I think I could do, no, I have to take that one out. Okay, and there's our crucible. So we're gonna go ahead and put that there. Now we need a couple of molds. If you look in this directory, there is bowls. There's a pretty flower pot, which you're gonna definitely want later. A uh, cooking pot, you can make four cooking pots, crock or four crocks, crucible or four crucibles, a little flower pot or four flower pots, ingot molds, which we'll, we'll talk about later, a watering can, uh, the watering can is right there. This is a jug for alcohol, which you'll definitely need later. Uh, blue shingles, a vessel, the anvil mold, which we'll talk about later. But right now what I want to get to is these tool molds. There's two tool molds that you're really going to need, and that is this hammer and this pickaxe. So those are the two we're going to do for the sake of this tutorial. In order to get um, yourself to the Copper Age, you're going to need both of these tools. So we're going to make them. And as you can see, I'm going to scoot up a little bit. And I'm going to press the Alt key so I'm not moving around. And I'm just going to punch in some clay. trying to do it as neat as I can so I don't have to go back there we go okay so that's the hammer mold now let's do the pickaxe mold it's right there this one has has a little bit more uh, I'm just gonna punch it in and then we'll take out some of the extra clay with the one voxel. I don't know whether it's a voxel or a pixel. Same thing, I think. Okay, so let's go back down to the one, add these back, take these out, right click to add, left click to take out. So these are the six essential blue clay items I think you need right off the bat um, when you're starting a survival game. Let's talk about fire clay a little bit now. Um, when I crouch and right click with the fire clay in my hand, you're going to see an additional item here, which is the clay oven. Uh, this takes at least a stack of, clay, of fire clay and it will allow you to bake breads and pies later on. The other thing you should know about fire clay is that you can take it in your crafting grid and make fire clay bricks as I've done here. These will be used later for bloomeries when you want to make glass and when you find iron, because you'll have to put the iron ore in the bloomeries. But we'll talk about that kind of stuff later. Okay, now that we have our clay done, we have to fire them so we can use them. And uh, I'm gonna show you how to make a pit kiln. Originally, uh, before one of the later updates, you could just put these in a campfire, but now you have to build a pit kiln. So let's, let's uh, let me show you how to do that and how to do it safely. Those of you who know me know I've had a little incident with pit kilns. I will put the video up on a card right here. I can't seem to um, live it down. <laughs> I hear about it pretty constantly. So go watch the video. It's pretty fun. Okay, what we need to do is just build a hole. We're going to build three holes because we have enough material for three pit kilns. We're going to dig three holes. I'm going to pick up this dirt and in the setting sun, we are going to do some pit kilns. Okay, <laughs> I get distracted. Let's uh, go ahead and pick these up. So we're going to pick these up and put them in the pit kiln. We're going to start this one here. Okay, now that we have all of these in our little dugout pit kiln area, we're going to add grass. So we're going to start with this and we're just going to crouch and right click. It takes 10 grass in that one and you can't put any more in. We're going to add grass to this one and add grass to this one. Now next is sticks. Uh, it is 10 sticks. No, 8 sticks. 
eight sticks. I'm just crouching and right clicking. Now the thing about uh, pit kilns is that you can speed it up based on the fuel you use on the very top. This one we're going to use firewood. It takes that much firewood. Uh, four. Peat. You can use peat. Four peat. Or you can use charcoal. Four charcoal. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take a torch. We're going to crouch and right click until you can see that it's lit. All three of them. Now, the charcoal one is going to get done the fastest. This one will be done first. This one will be done second. That one will be done third. And I'll be back with you when they're all done. Warning. Evacuation in progress. Leave the building. Okay, guys, here we go with the safety message. You must make sure that this has, there is nothing um, flammable near your pit kilns because it will alight and it will catch on fire. It will burn down. So I would suggest getting rid of everything around it. Two, three, four blocks, something like that. Should we test it out? Uh, the other thing you're gonna wanna know while we're watching that burn is that these need to be covered in order if in case it's raining so um it's can be as simple as something like this i'm just going to show you uh something as simple as that to get it covered so the rain won't uh extinguish them and of course this is not burning of course oh there it goes okay so it disappeared and that was that is what will happen to your structure if you don't protect yourself. Right, hippie? Or your life. Your life. Ah. Uh. Something I would like to add is that if you're going to make one of these raw storage vessels, it does take a bit more fuel than the normal um, items. So if we put that down here, uh, it will still take 10 grass and it will still take eight sticks, but you will need more fuel. Let's just use um, the peat as an example. You're going to need those four, plus you're going to need four more to cover the top. Just as a side note, so you know. So guys, here we go. We've got our two tool molds and we've got our cooking supplies and our crucible. And we're ready to go out and conquer this vintage story world. So thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'm really trying to grow my YouTube channel. I'd like to hit a thousand by the end of the year. And if you have any suggestions on clay forming or pit kiln ing, please let me know in the comments. Take care guys and stay safe out there. Bye.